Hi, everyone. I got a number of uh, things open, like a screen recorder, Resolve, and Window 2. And what you see me doing here is just simply grabbing a file. I made a MP4 low video resolution, an MOV, a uh, WMV, and an ASF by simply right clicking or clicking twice, hovering over and typing in MP4 and accepting and agreeing to the changes. If I do all four or five and right click and rename, which is not the way to do it. And if I change this to MP4, my gig user in a Macintosh does this and he automatically has these changed to MP4 at the same name. When we do this, it keeps the same file done. Control Z brings it back, undoes it. Now, let me go into my video, my proxy media, my user, my picture, my camera roll, and my folder. All these are proxies low video resolution and MOV file for 5.3K. And when you go into DaVinci Resolve, it's going to create those proxies manually. So what you need to do is get to learn the program. I'm not used to having this on the bottom. I need to go into this dash over here import my media and I want to do just one. I don't want to do a lot of them. I want to just grab something. You can see how GoPro puts everything in such an unorganized order. LRV, your regular video, your THMs, and so forth. Let's click the last one. Change project frame, agree. As it opens up, if I go into the first one, which is the master, I believe, do apologize when things are running, down on the bottom in the master over here, if you right click, you see generate proxy media. If I do that, it's going to take some time. If it's a second, a minute, 10 minutes, etc., etc. I want to load more video in. I'm not 100% sure how to do it over here. So I go back to the cut area. I go back over here because everything's in a different area in this program. If I put in an LRV, nothing's going to load. So let me go into my video, my proxy media, a user, and put in 328. That would be the first one. So now I want to edit. And what I want to do now is show you all how to make a 29 by 9 aspect ratio video. Immediately I got a scrub line, which I love, and everything works, even with the high video resolution. If you want to make this 29 by 9 aspect ratio, come over here to the cog, right down here. Click it. You come over here and you type in, say you like to see that Insta360 camera, that's 6016 
by 2560, right? Save it. And that should have changed it. There you go. I have to remember I'm running this program. And this program is lagging my machine. It's also lagging me in the review. Now, you need to stretch this. And how would you stretch it? God bless you. Over here in the Zoom, there is this little tab here. Click it. And this over here, that shrinks it. And that expands it. Please forgive me. When other things are running, slows the machine down. About 135 would get rid of those lines. Now you're all done. You made your video. You can go into the effects and you could add a top line and do it throughout the whole thing if you want. Stretch your video and so forth. I'm not about that. I'm about just showing you the very basics. Now we're going to the spaceship and there is the 6016 by 2560 it's a 5.3K video now made in ultra wide screen. Now, I want to bring you to another program. This makes proxies automatically over here. So if I bring in this video here and allow it to open up, let it adjust. I need to go into file. I need to go to settings. And I need to go to movie. And this will open up in a couple of seconds. And here I take this area in the bottom. I type in 6016 by 2560. This is going to be my default. Every single time, 29 by 9. It's not going to know this aspect ratio. It's going to know 2, 3.5, something like that. And I adjust it. I'm not done yet, but you can see my window shrunk. I could stretch it down, bring it over some. I need to go to the effects. And allow the effects window to open up. I'm working on slow motion CPU process power. And I need to look for size and position. I need to highlight my clip and apply the effect. And then I need to come here to pine input fields and uncheck it. And I can write in here. 6016, and it will correct and hit enter. Or I could come over here and I could drag. And then I just go to File, Export Movie, and I choose to go to Windows Media or I can go to MPEG 4. But each one will do something a little different than the other ones won't do. This will go up to 4K. If I want to change it, I will hit these three dashes and change it. I don't think it's going to do 6016 by 2560. I would have to go to another resolution. So I close out, I go to File, Export Movie, and I'm going to just go to Windows Movie Video. And it automatically does it for me. I want to show you another program, but it just basically uh, crashed on me, PowerDirector, and PowerDirector won't do. So in DaVinci Resolve, this is the program to do.
it's becoming very easy for me to use. And I hope this was very helpful to somebody out there. So here I use Screen Recorder 4.0 from PowerDirector. Have a great day.